So the most amazing thing just happened. I walked into Valkyries Museum and they told me it costed 300 kronas for the ticket to get into the show. So I told her I would uh, go outside a bit, decide. And then she walked over to me and gave me this tag. And she said, um, uh, Ticket. Uh, my heart is safe for me, even it for him. Hi, I. Uh, boy and I like to uh, give you oh, this. Thank you. And you can have a nice night here in Valdres oh, in so our much. museum. And I will. Thank you so much. <laughs> The first performance of the evening was a hauling girl dance group. They were super talented and their energy was immeasurable. Even though most of it is a routine, some of it is improvisation. And whenever they screwed up, they kept on going with the music, just like breakdancing. Once the audience was hyped up, they brought forward the traditional couple folk dance, Springa. This dance is based on the Polska dance from Poland that is spread all across Europe. But Springa is unique in its own way. Just like the name suggests, there is a slight springing action in between the beats. The synchronized steps, the traditional costumes, and the smiles all together made the dancers so mesmerizing to watch. There were judges critiquing in the background as well. I'm not quite sure how they're able to keep track of everyone, but nonetheless, their eyes were keen. Then came the solo musical acts. This is called the Harding Fele. Just like the violin, it's also played with four strings, but it has four extra strings underneath to create the resonance effect. The last performance is a style of folk music called Kvetting. What makes it unique is that the rhythm is boundless and follows no specific patterns. And the lyrics are often describing the Viking Age, agriculture, love, nature, or fairies and elves. Right after the performance, I met up with the Holling dancers. I wanted to learn their ways so badly. But before I can get to that, this little Norwegian Mr. Miyagi Daniel-san! Wax on, wax off made me go through some activities. The first course was the hat kicking routine from Holling. This one took a long time to master, and not everybody has the same patience. <laughs> what? The next challenge is called stilter. This is a sport that dates back all the way to the Viking Age. It involves balancing yourself on two wooden vertical sticks and then racing with it.
And then the real training began. And that's what went down the whole night, full of laughter and frolic. Our styles were different, yet inherently similar. It's as if we were two branches from the same tree. And it's true, hauling has influenced breakdance a lot, including the... Uh, I live in uh, Muraki, uh, and I dance hauling. Hi, my name is Onun, and I'm a hauling dancer. Hello, my name is Neri, I'm also a hauling dancer, I'm an opera singer. And my name is Sinara and I'm playing fiddle and I'm dancing. Hey, my name is Osuna and I'm a howling dancer. Well, my name is Amilda and I'm a folk singer. Hmm? <laughs> What's up you two? I hope you liked the video. I just want to give a quick shout out to the crew earlier for working hard, keeping the traditional life, as well as inspiring so, so much. In next week's video, I'm going to be in Jotunheimen National Park. So, I'll see you then. Peace.